afternoon, Oliver here from Mount Taggart. You join me in Petworth today. We're here to see uh, this really lovely three bedroom end terrace house you can just see behind me. Uh, we're in Little Coat, this is number three. So let's go and have a look around. Okay, so before we go inside, I'll just give you a little orientation. So we're number three Little Coat. This is the house here with the green front door. So you can just see you've got this nice bit of off-road parking to the front and the gravel area there. So comfortably fit two cars off the road. Um, we're actually at the end of Little Coat. Little Coat, this is a sort of one section of it. Um, we're just heading west down Little Coat, which will take you really um, to the main road that takes you into the town itself. There's a couple of little cut throughs that you can uh, access quickly to take you on foot to the uh, town. Um, only a five or ten minute walk. So we're right at the end of the cul-de-sac. There's just three more properties. Or two more actually, should I say, at the end. And just see, dead end here, bit of a turning area. Currently opposite, there is just an open green space. It's worth me just pointing out that the green space opposite has now got planning permission uh, to develop. We believe there's about 35 properties going to be um, input in the field opposite. So worth just bearing that in mind. Um, we'll put the link to the um, planning application um, online so you can have a look at that. So you see the house itself, really nice property, very quiet here. This one's that got the benefit of the off-road parking to the front, so you've got the driveway and the gravelled area there, so you could comfortably fit a couple of cars off the road. But I will just point out there is ample on street parking straight out front so no restrictions for visitors etc so let's go in and have a look around show you inside okay so as you come in first thing you see is you've got this entrance porch or lobby right at the front of the house you can see plenty of space for storage for shoes and coats and then a further door which will take us into the hall Close that door behind me. So again, you can see the stairs there, which take you up to the first floor. Just turn around, just show you that lobby area again. So you can see that there. So useful space. So the door we come to takes you into the sitting room, located at the front. Again, really good condition. Got a lovely open fireplace there. Nice arched bay, which really useful for storage, bookshelves. Another recess here again, very useful for additional units. Ample space here with the extension at the front. So you've got plenty of space there for sofa. Got these lovely shutters, which have been installed in this room as well. So that's just the view to the front. And at the rear of the property, you've got kitchen diner. So again, really lovely kit dining room space there. Got the sliding doors, which lead out to the rear garden. And the kitchen's lovely as well, great condition. It's a bit of a galley style kitchen as you turn the corner. So I'll just take you down here. So you can see you've got Integrated appliances, space for the washing machine, dishwasher. Down this section, as you turn the corner, you've got door there which leads out to the rear garden. So that's your view as you're washing up, which is not too bad at all. Looking out over the garden. There's a lot of storage space here, lots of worktop space. Really good order throughout. So there you go, sliding door which takes you out to the garden. I'll just show you, show you out there in a moment. Okay, so let me just take you upstairs. So you've got three bedrooms up here. And a family bathroom, of course. So we'll just take them as we come. So this is bedroom number two, located at the rear of the property. So it's a small double, but you've got lots of storage in here. So air and cupboard and a built-in wardrobe. Again, bookshelves, etc. there. Just give you an idea of the rear garden. You can just see neighbours all look after their gardens as well, which is always nice to see. 
So it's a good location, good spot. This is the third bedroom, so we're looking at the front of the property now. As you can see, it's a working office at the moment, but comfortably will fit a single bed. It's quite a lot of furniture, etc., and filing cabinets in here. Obviously, for those working from home, you can see it would be an ideal space. Again, you've got the shutters on the front. And the main bedroom. It's a great size, a really lovely double. Again, with the shutters installed on the front. So they're a lovely feature. And this one, I'll just turn round. It's got the benefit of that very good size built-in sliding wardrobe as well. And finally, you've got the bathroom. So nice white suite. You've got the oversized bath with the shower, electric shower over, so the shower space, shower screen. Again, all in very good condition. So outside, here we are. So you've got nice big patio areas. You come off the back of the house. And the garden's really pretty, really well looked after. Attractive flower bed borders, not quite come into leaf yet, some of them, but and that's just a rear elevation. Let's just show you that there. So you've got the side access as well, just take you back down to the front of the house. So that's it, that is three little coat, really lovely, three bedroom, end of terrace house. It's in a great spot, uh, really convenient location for the village and just a super house, lots of off-road parking and in great condition. So we hope you like what you see, but if you have any questions or want to know more, please don't hesitate to give us a call.